What makes enameled cast iron different than raw cast iron? Hi, Jed from Cook Culture. So last week I asked if anybody had any questions about cast iron, if they were having any confusion about what to buy. And the question that seemed that most people had, which was really interesting, I wasn't really expecting it, was that what makes enameled cast iron different than raw cast iron? Which, thinking about it, that's a super logical question and it makes sense that a lot of people would have that question. I just, personally, I just wasn't really thinking about it. Um, so I put some thought into it. Uh, the main difference that you're gonna get between what typically you would think of as a Staub cast iron that we sell, or Le Creuset is another very, very well-known international brand. Um, it's gonna have, or it does have, an enameled coating all over the pan. And when I say coating, it's actually a rock hard, baked on, glass-based application to the finish. Uh, if you would think of like powder coating, if you, or, or just basically spray paint, uh, it goes on and then it is cooked and baked on like a glaze. It becomes incredibly hard. It can uh, be damaged. You can chip it. You can hurt it. You can chip into it. Uh, uh, the iron underneath and the surface has a certain strength to it. It's not impossible to damage it, um, but it does take a ton of, of wear and tear. Uh, so you take a raw piece of cast iron, like this field pan here, and then put the enameling coating onto it. They do several different coatings. This one here is a black on black, um, but mostly if you see it in red or blue or yellow or pink or whatever, it's that it has another color attached, just like glaze, over top of the black. So black enamel, then a color enamel, and baked on. Um, so a lot of time you'll have one color on the inside. This has black, and then a different color on the outside. Le Creuset has cream on the inside, and the colors on the outside. That's just the way in which they decide to make their pans. Um, so advantages and disadvantages. <clears throat> so advantage to Le Creuset and Staub and others um, that do an enameling is that it is easier to maintain. So in essence, you don't have to season it. You can get away with using it without seasoning and you can almost kind of treat it whatever way you want and it will just stand up and perform okay. Uh, seasoning it like raw cast iron will make it work brilliantly. But what I mean by that is if you take a raw piece of cast iron and just use it and don't look after it, it will rust. It'll rust to a point which it will become unusable. Using enamel on cast iron allows you to have more flexibility of how you care and maintain. So you can get away from being kind of mediocre in your maintenance. I do suggest putting in all of the time and energy that you would to maintain a regular cast iron and it works brilliantly. The advantage then is what you have is that you have a beautifully colored piece. This one I said is black, but they come in lots of different colors uh, and tons of different shapes. Enameling usually comes in many, many different shapes, which is a nice advantage for all different types of cooking. Um, so that's a, a major advantage of stove where <coughs> primarily, Cast iron comes in skillets. Sometimes you'll have like an oven, but one size of oven, and they are focused on doing skillets. So disadvantage or advantage for cast iron is that I believe that a, a high quality cast iron to a high quality enameled cast iron, you get a more uh, browned and, and flavored, not, not charred, not blackened, but um, you develop more flavors in the browning using raw over enameled. Um, that is my personal experience in using them. I will usually always reach for a raw cast iron pan, um, specifically a field uh, in my house, but even a, a good quality lodge pan um, that is raw for doing my stove top cooking in a skillet fry pan. If I am doing sauteing or if I'm using a roasting pan, uh, I love using my enameled cast iron. And I use lots of different sizes, but I particularly use a raw skillet. That's my personal preference. More maintenance. So for those that are looking for less maintenance, 
you can get away with less maintenance with the stove. So there's your biggest advantage of thinking, which one should I buy if I'm thinking of raw versus enameled? Really think about how you like to maintain things. If you love to maintain it and get it just so, and you'll put the time and energy into it, raw is no problem. But if you find, oh, I'm, I'm always kind of struggling and, and I want to do it less and get away with it, you'll never have perfect results if you don't maintain it perfectly, but stove will allow you to cook more that way. Uh, lots of people I know are like, oh, I've never seasoned my stove pan and it works great for me. That's, that's awesome. You know, if you're using quality oil and you're using enough of it, you'll get away with it. But if you want to use a lot less oil and you want to have brilliant nonstick, you need to season your pans. So I hope that helps the difference between a enameled cast iron to a raw cast iron and why you would choose one over the other.